Greg. Um, uh, this is, um, these are excerpts from my journal from the summer of 1965. I'll try and read some things that um, say something about the adjustment of, something about Jamestown, but um, a lot of it's going to be about the adjustment of a young player to, um, to uh, living and playing in Jamestown. Um, the, the background here is that I signed out of college in June and was sent to the Northern League where I played for Duluth, Duluth Dukes, and I was there a couple of weeks and then was, um, and then was promoted along with a teammate named Bob Felber, F-E-L-B-E-R, to the Jamestown Tigers. Uh, just getting from uh, from Duluth to Jamestown was an all-day ordeal, and that we had to fly to uh, uh, to Green Bay, the, uh, to Milwaukee, change in Cleveland, and finally to Jamestown. And we spent our first night in the Jamestown Hotel, and then the next day the uh, trainer who had stayed behind to pick us up uh, drove us uh, to all the... Uh, to the team was actually playing uh, the Geneva Senators, um, but um, uh, the, we weren't allowed to stay in Geneva because of the damage that the team had done the previous year to a hotel. I don't know how true the story is, but uh, we were told that um, no hotel in town would, would let the ball club, um, would let the Jamestown team stay there. Uh, consequently, we, we stayed in Auburn, 24, uh, 24 miles away, period. A uh, new paragraph. Uh, that summer we traveled in um, in three new Pontiac station wagons rather than a bus. Uh, the uh, cars were provided by a dealership in Jamestown. Uh, the cars were crowded, and, and being a rookie, or being a rookie, a, a newcomer on the team, I often had to sit in the back um, uh, luggage compartment. Um, in the station wagon. I spent a lot of time back there sitting on bags with a light on uh, reading, uh, which uh, sometimes annoyed my annoyed our manager, come, uh, Gail Henley, H-E-N-L-E-Y, uh, uh, who was the driver of our car, period. A uh, new paragraph. I, I really didn't like um, being, uh, didn't like coming to Jamestown. Um, I had, uh, made friends and was just getting settled in in Duluth. Uh, in fact, uh, the the day before I got promoted to Jamestown, I had uh, rented an apartment with two other teammates, uh, bought a car with them, and gone shopping, yeah. uh, stocking our cupboards and refrigerator. And then uh, within 24 hours, uh, I was shipped out to Jamestown. Uh, being a left-handed hitter, I, d I also didn't like the fact that uh, there was lots of left-handed uh, pitchers. There were lots of left-handed pitchers in the New York Penn League. Uh, let's see, they spent the first uh, couple days back in Jamestown looking for accommodation after staying with, um, with a teammate, uh, Mike Small. Um, and uh, Bob Felber, the other newcomer, and I found a place for $60 a month um, somewhere right down on the second second floor, and I've forgotten the name of the street, right downtown, the heart of Jamestown, kind of one block um, below the main street going towards the river. We had a, a three-room apartment, but only uh, one bed, uh, a double bed, which we had to share. Uh, no air conditioning, of course, and I remember lying awake many nights in this in this bed that uh, <clears throat> that sagged in the middle, uh, trying to keep from rolling into my teammate, my roommate. Uh, here I talk about my first game in Jamestown against Wellsville. That was a Red Sox farm club. Um, I got two hits off a left-handed pitcher, but um, also made two errors, both in the first inning of my first game before uh, Jamestown fans. Uh, we were losing a lot more often than we were winning, and um, which uh, often caused our manager um, to call a morning, 11, 11 a.m. Uh, practice session. Uh, some of the players would go to the Jaguar Club, which I think was near the Jamestown Hotel. 
uh, on Main Street, or whatever whatever the main the Main Street is called. I've forgotten. Uh, in 1965, it says here we had a 130 game schedule, and we have a six team league. Um, many of the players being in their second year, and a few in their third year. And one of them, a five-year veteran who had played some AAA ball before, Jim McGowan, uh, which all of which is very different from short season A, where you play what 72 games and everybody's uh, pretty much uh, a recent draft pick. Uh, here, here on July 22nd, 1965, is a description in my journal of um, a hazing right that um, uh, a, a fair number of rookies uh, were put through and here's how it goes it's called lifting um, uh, quote I thought that um, they're lighting me up parenthesis lighting my shoes shoelaces uh, parenthesis was enough uh, period, how wrong, I, how wrong I was, period. It all started with a big argument that Carl Solera couldn't lift three guys off the ground, uh, period. After much deliberation, sorry, after much debate, a hat was passed for bets, uh, period. Over $40 was, was uh, placed in it, period. Uh, how could I know there, there was a trick to it when, when $40 had been invested? Uh, uh, period. The next thing I knew, I was lying on the floor in the middle of George Corrance and Ken McGowan. Our legs and our arms were interlocked, and somehow they got me to strip to my jock to lighten the load. Uh, period. There I was with a big crowd in, uh, around cheering Carl on. Uh, the next thing I knew, every one of the 18 ball players uh, was dumping some ointment, soda pop, or whatever, uh, per period. I was so firmly locked I couldn't move, uh, period. With everybody's work done, I was freed, uh, period. My chest was black with shoe polish, uh, tinted with ketchup and mustard, uh, comma. My legs were pink with methylate, uh, comma. My genitals and pubic hair uh, were coated with uh, analgesic balm, uh, zinc oxide, ice cream, tough skin, pine tar, and methylate. Uh, period. Luckily, our game was rained out because I couldn't have played. Uh, period. Every hair. Period. Every hair was stuck together, and taking my jock off was like stripping adhesive tape off the tough skin. Sorry. Stripping, uh, this, how does that go? Taking my jock off was like stripping adhesive tape off as the tough skin had, had uh, stuck like glue, uh, period. My uh, roommate, uh, Bob Felber, um, had been lifted earlier while I was being occupied outside so that I didn't know the trick, period. And the final victim that night was it was the umpire, an obese, jovial fellow uh, uh, named Dick Leonard. Uh, period. Uh, ellipsis. That's three periods. Well, now I'm a full-fledged rookie, I guess. Period. Uh, summer of 1965 was a wet one, and we we uh, had many many rainouts, uh, and also many double headers to make up those rainouts. Uh, new paragraph. It seems like most nights we're drawing around 500 a game. Uh, here on August 7th, uh, uh, quote, tonight's game drew 3,400 fans, comma, there wasn't an empty seat in the park, period. It was labor night with free admission to all labor employees. Uh, Mike Dillon, D-I-L-L-I-O-N, who pitched the entire season with the New York Mets, only lasted two innings. Uh, new paragraph, <clears throat> August 8th, um, a local Jamestown woman, comma, Mrs. Lewis, an uh, 88-year-old widow, offered $10 to any Tiger pl player hitting a home run at Jamestown. 
period two out two days after she made the offer I hit one out and collected not ten dollars but twenty dollars for some reason she gave me twenty gave me a twenty uh, period that night we lost our ninth game ninth in the last eleven games paragraph August tenth was our only day off uh, even for the players uh, that had started the season um, back in April. Uh, it was the all-star break. By now I had a girlfriend, uh, uh, Sean Meredith, and was spending a lot of time with her. Um, they had a ranch in Panama, 10 miles west of town. Uh, on August 11th we had another um, special night and drew 2,800 fans. Uh, since we don't have a television um, and there wasn't much to do in town during the day, I spent most of my day, days uh, reading, as did my roommate. Uh, here's my journal entry for uh, Aug Saturday, August 14th, when we played um, uh, 21 innings that night and then again uh, seven more the next day. Uh, here's how it reads, quote, 21 innings. Uh, that's right. We played 21 innings without a decision. On a humid 85 degree Saturday night at, uh, at 630 we started what was to be a seven inning uh, first game of a double header. Uh, six and a half period, six and a half hours later, a chilly Monday morning, the contest, the, sorry, the, the contest was called um, uh, with the score tied at four apiece, uh, period. I batted ten times in the nightmare, collected but one hit, walked twice, struck out twice, uh, period. League leading Binghamton's uh, first baseman struck out eight times. Uh, new paragraph. After, after blowing uh, blowing opportunity several times, it finally looked like finally looked as if we'd win it in the 21st inning when John Fair, F A E H R, hit a liner off the right field wall with Rick Clark on first. Uh, <clears throat> period. But Rick, comma, who was a pinch runner, comma, stumbled flat on his face between second and third. Period. Where he would have easily scored, he he uh, now had fallen and only reached uh, third base. Junior Lopez then hit a deep fly to center, but again Clark uh, um, wore the goat horns by not tagging up. Period. Um, I, uh, um, the the game was called at 1 a.m. because of curfew. Uh, period. Uh, after the game, I returned with Sean to my apartment and ate uh, for eight, and ate uh, for an hour. Um, period. Um, we then hitchhiked to her farm to go swimming. Uh, period. Two married women in search of their husbands gave us a ride all the way to her, to Sean's farm. Period. At the farm, we rounded up some blankets, food, and towels and then uh, walked a mile and a half down the road down the road uh, through the woods to a secluded swimming hole on the river uh, period uh, we slept till dawn um, then swam uh, um, period quote how refreshing it was in the 90, in the 90 degree heat uh, period uh, um, about uh, three in the afternoon, I hitchhiked back to town for the doubleheader with Binghamton. Uh, period. The first game was the first game was a 21 inning uh, contest um, resumed. Uh, period. Nobody scored for the first six innings. Uh, comma. Then finally, Binghamton scored a run in the seventh on a brutal tag call at the plate by umpire Larry Bowman. Uh, period. Catcher Jim Leland, comma, pitcher Bruce Buys, B U I S, were so enraged that they shoved the umpire uh, uh, and both were ejected, uh, comma, as well as our skipper, Gail Henley. A period. After 28 innings and eight and a half hours, the game was finally over. Period. 
Then after a long, after that long drought, uh, comma, Binghamton scored 11 runs in the first inning of the second game. Uh, period. Uh, feeling the effects of uh, a restless night with little sleep, I struck out uh, four times in four trips to uh, to the plate. Period. New paragraph at uh, on August 17th. Uh, two local girls um, uh, threw a party uh, at Bemis Point. Um, all the players came, many with their girlfriends, or many with their girlfriends, uh, period. Um, coming from California, I had never experienced a warm, humid nights. Uh, where I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, it always uh, cooled off at night and was often a breeze as well. Uh, so one of the uh, thrills um, for me was, to, was going out um, late at night uh, during the thunderstorms and walking around in the in the uh, in the rain a number of passages in, in my journal about about walking in the cool rain on these warm muggy nights uh, I've made so many years playing first base that um, some nicknames have called me a US short for US steel um, which is a metaphor what for what uh, my glove was supposedly made of um, <clears throat> well we nearly all our games were played at night on august twenty second we played uh, an afternoon game only the second one all season uh, there are a number of descriptions here of um, of pillow fights and cork gun wars and water fights in uh, in the hotels we stayed in on the road. One such description. Yeah, this takes place in, uh, where is it? Auburn. <clears throat> I was riding in my room about 11 p.m. when there was a lot of noise in the hall. Um, period. McGowan and Ginste, G-I-N-S-T-E, were engaged in a, in a cork gun war, uh, comma, which they later switched to pillows. Uh, period. Ginsty broke open a pillow, uh, filling their room with uh, with down. Uh, period. Down everywhere. You, uh, you uh, comma. You couldn't even see the rug. There was so much. There were, there were so many feathers. Uh, period. While McGowan and I were putting feathers in Felber's bed, Leland uh, dumped a wastebasket full of water over me. Uh, period. A water fight started, and before long the rugs were 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 soaked. Uh, period. Uh, <clears throat> Felber, F-E-L-B-E-R. Felber came in at about 1 a.m. slightly drunk. Uh, period. He stumbled over the table and broke the lamp and an ashtray. Um, uh, period. Uh, I emptied a waste bucket of water on him. That's sorry, a waste basket of water on him. Uh, period. Uh, he dumped a, a bucket of water on my bed, um, and then another bucket on Mike Small's bed. Period. It wasn't until 3 a.m. that everybody called a truce and started cleaning up. Uh, period. Paragraph. We're playing in Binghamton. Uh, it's Pony Night, and they have 5,000 fans. Uh, and it's raining. It's the second time this season. Uh, it's been raining in Binghamton during uh, special nights where they've drawn large crowds. Um, they try to burn off the infield with gas. They try to dry out the infield by burning it off with gasoline. Um, uh, but just as in the previous uh, game where we waited an hour and a half uh, while they uh, try to dry the infield, uh, this game, too, was, was eventually rained out in the second inning. A uh, new paragraph on Saturday, August 29th. Um, the weather is still miserable. Uh, rain and cold now. Uh, 40 degree temperatures and 30 mile per hour winds made playing miserable. Um, the game was called after five innings. Uh, 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 because of cold weather. Uh, quote, Wayne Ginsty fell knee-deep in a water trap in the dugout. 
period he yelled obscenities, tore up boards and threw them onto the field, period. The game was held up uh, for 10 minutes while he was, uh, while he changed his uniform, period. Next night it was so cold that the pitchers built a fire at the end of the dugout. Uh, the fire lasted for, for six innings. Um, after the game, we all went to Jim Leland's place for a party where they tried to get me drunk. Uh, I had three beers, the most, the most ever, and got a little high. Um, I had a great time, period. Uh, with our final games being rained out, uh, the season actually ended on August 31st. Um, we ended the season with a dismal 34 wins and 84 losses for, for a .294 percentage, one of the worst in, the minor in all of the minor leagues that year. Um, so cold on that night also that uh, the uh, pitchers built a fire in the dugout and kept it going for seven innings. Um, comma, the Auburn team um, uh, did the same thing in their, in their bullpen. Uh, uh, end of tape. End of tape.